Let's face it, ladies. Looking good and taking care of yourself is a full-time job. But hey, this job pays off big time. Picture this. You, feeling and looking great every day. Turn it heads like it's your job. Well, it kind of is. Now, let me drop some truth bombs. The secret sauce to nailing the beauty game is all about picking the right products and riding the consistency train. No consistency, no glow up. It's that simple. Get ready to glow, slay, and conquer because this 2024 is your year. Let's get into your daily nighttime routine. It's a must, no excuses. Even if you've been out all night partying, remember, consistency is the only way you will win this game. Now, let's get that face of yours clean. You've got options here. Your trusty fingers can do the trick. Or, if you're feeling a bit fancy and have extra cash, might I suggest the foyer. This gadget doesn't just clean your face, it throws in some sonic vibrations to dance away the dirt and grime from your skin and pores. Now, let's get into this Korean 10 step system. Step one, a double cleanse. We're kicking it off with the oil based cleanser because like dissolves like. Sebum, the oily substance your skin produces, meets its match with an oil-based cleanser. And don't even get me started on makeup and sunscreen. This cleanser laughs in the face of all oil-based challenges. After some serious Amazon stalking, I've uncovered a gem with nearly 5 stars and a whopping 21,000 reviews. Feast your eyes on the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. It's not just a cleanser, it's a cult favorite with a fan base that speaks volumes. Go ahead and give it a whirl. Next up, a water-based cleanser. Another fan fave is the Corex Low pH Cleanser. With almost 5 stars and over 16,000 reviews, say goodbye to harshness and hello to a cleansing experience that feels like a spa day for your pores. On to exfoliation. Let's shed those old, tired cells to make way for radiant new ones. For my savvy skincare queens, I present the Puff Puff Gentle Facial Sponge. Dermatologist developed and ready to kick deep down dirt and makeup to the curb. This sponge means business. Plus, it's reusable and budget friendly. If you're feeling a bit fancy, enter the MediHeal Enzyme Peeling Pad. These face resurfacing pads are armed, armed with LHA and papaya enzyme, making them a secret weapon against sebum and dead skin cells. Next up, toner. Prepares the skin for the next steps by balancing its pH and its hydrating. Next up is an essence, a lightweight concentrated treatment product to hydrate and improve skin texture. I use and I recommend the Corax Sale Mucin. It's a TikTok fave and also has been a fave of mine for years. Next up is a serum or ampule. This will serve to target any skin conditions such as brightening, anti-aging, or acne. This is where you get down and dirty to your specific skin concerns. And one to two or maybe three times a week, it is sheet mask time. This will infuse the skin with concentrated ingredients and up your hydrating game. You can use a face cream as your eye cream, but if you have concerns such as dark circles, I recommend the Hule Hendrickson Banana Bright. Stop moisturizer. This seals in 
all the previous layers of the products and provides extra hydration. Now, to include in your daily nighttime routine, I would suggest a lip scrub and a lip mask for your lips to keep them moisturized and young. I would also recommend castor oil or any kind of growth serum for your eyebrows and eyelashes for condition and growth. Use sunscreen, doesn't matter. I'm sorry, but you, you must. You gotta layer that SPF on. See right here, I wasn't serious about SPF when I was younger. Nothing looks better in your 50s than sunscreen in your 20s, ladies. You heard it here first. That daily routine, you have to include sunscreen. It is a must if you want to anti-age and protect your skin. Even if it's overcast and crappy weather, I definitely suggest sunscreen. For an extra pick-me-up, cold therapy is very popular. You can dump your face in ice water or you can use a roller, leave it in the fridge, and just roll it on your skin to de-puff. You can also use a gua sha for lymphatic drainage to de-puff your skin and also contour and sculpt. Next up, if you're looking to splurge on some anti-aging devices, I recommend a red light mask. I currently use one by Current Body. Some of the benefits include reduce the wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, improve facial texture, and improve sun damaged skin and improve scars. For some extra contouring, I would also recommend the new face. It apparently puts microcurrents into your skin to firm and tighten. Let's jump into your weekly routine. In your weekly routine, I recommend either a dry mask for any kind of skin concerns, tweeze in your eyebrows, as even if you get your eyebrows done at a spot, you can tweeze your eyebrows just to keep it clean in between appointments. I also would recommend dermaplaning. Some of the benefits include just getting rid of that dead skin, taking away peach fuzz, also, and your makeup will also lay much better. Secondly, get in a facial spa. You can do your own extractions if you know how to, on, and you can also just use it to just better cleanse your skin and just give you a glowy look. Now let's get into your monthly routine. If you really want to start amping it up, if you're in your 30s like me and you're looking to amp up the anti-aging, I recommend getting to know and learning about microneedling. This can also improve collagen and tighten and tone the skin. If you're a do-it-yourself kind of girl like me, Part of my monthly maintenance is to laminate my own eyebrows. I use a product from Amazon. It's quite easy. I follow directions from a YouTube video. I also like to tint my own eyebrows with a henna product. And it just helps me to have a more neat look even without makeup. And I love that I can do it myself. I'm going to be doing a hair addition, a body addition, a hygiene addition. If you're loving these videos and you're ready to slay 2024, please subscribe. More videos are to come.